Hi, and welcome back to Nation Station. This is part two of Because God Loves You. You know the old saying, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Well, it's not true, is it? We've all been hurt by words, and it may not hurt us physically, but as I spoke about in the first episode, we are made up of more than just our physical bodies. We have to be careful what we say because our words have power. In fact, the Bible warns us in Proverbs 18, 21, the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So let me share some definitions of what a true Christian would be and what a non-believer would be. Now, a disclaimer, okay, we all cross back and forth with our actions and behaviors, but a true Christian would know the difference between right and wrong, believe that there is such a thing as absolute truth, and that truth comes by hearing the Word of God and believing what is said and written in the Bible. There is a standard to live by and grace to forgive. Since God is the very definition of love, we can accept ourselves, our flaws and all, and we can receive love then from others. And then we can, in turn, reflect God's character in this dark and sinful world. Whereas a, an unbeliever would do whatever feels right in his own eyes. He just wanders through life with uncertainty, living it up, squandering resources with no long-term purpose or afterthought for the bigger picture. Christians will set aside their own desires and submit to God's will. We'll make personal sacrifices, knowing that we are part of something extraordinary. While those caught up in worldly ways won't hesitate to step on anyone necessary to climb that ladder to achieve what they perceive is success, because all that matters is their own personal happiness to hell with everyone else. Now, some attributes of Christians are that they are generous, they are forgiving, humble, and caring. At least we should be, right? The attributes of non-believers would be then greedy, prideful, arrogant, and selfish. Followers of Christ constantly strive to become more like Jesus by reading the Bible, interceding in prayers on behalf of others who are sick or unable to or lost, or thanking him constantly for our many blessings singing praises to the Lord for who he is. But those who deny the Creator's existence are stubborn and unrepentant. They refuse to admit that they need help. Strife and bitterness can often creep in and distort their perceptions. They are quick to judge and criticize. The scariest consequences of those who deny that Jesus Christ died for them will be forever separated from God. We are all God's children, and he does not want anyone to be lost. In fact, Matthew 18, 14, from the parable of the lost sheep, where God tells us the good shepherd would leave the 99 to go search for that one. It says, your father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. You are precious and one of a kind. You are loved. You have a special job to do, so don't ignore it or waste time getting started. The time for standing up for your values and beliefs is now. The only way the blind will see and the deaf will hear the truth is by the Lord revealing himself. And God has chosen to work through his people. We are called to reflect God's love by obeying the scriptures that have been recorded by men who were inspired by the Holy Spirit. It's our turn now to be disciples and follow in the footsteps of those who have gone before us. Because God first loved us, we are able to love others, and that's what this world needs. So be sure to treasure each day.